Hello everyone. I greet you all and I thank the humanitarian organization Zajnica Susret for the invitation. My name is Lucia Sablic. I am a social pedagogue and I work in the Teaching Institute for Public Health of Zagreb, Dr. Andrea Stamper, in its Center for Mental Health and Addiction Prevention. Just a few year, a few words about our center. We work now at four locations in Zagreb and try to cover as many young people as possible, young people who have uh, mental health problems in general, and especially young people who abuse or use or abuse uh, illegal drugs. Our team is multidisciplinary. We have psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, I'm a social pedagogue, and also we have uh, nurses. In our center, clients are involved in two basic ways, because they want to or because they have to. If they have to means that they have broken the law in some way, most often possession of illegal drugs. I work mostly with the teenagers aged 14 and older, and most of them are illegal drug abusers. Now I would like to share some our some uh, experiences, our experiences in working with uh, our young clients. In our center, we have between four and five hundred uh, teenagers a year who are in treatment for drug abuse. Most of them were sent by the courts or uh, social welfare centers. The most popular drug among them is mar certainly marijuana, 90%. The rest are clients who are involved in treatment for consuming, consuming other drugs. Although they are involved in treatment primarily uh, for marijuana or other drug abuse, we often discovered that those young men, young girls and boys, uh, have problems in other areas of their life, in families, in schools, with peers, in emotional relationships, uh, etc. Marijuana or some other drug in such situations serves them as a solution to the problem. On the other hand, we have a, a large number of young people who are uh, involved in treatment because of depression, anxiety, uh, poor adjustment, and uh, et etc. And over time, they also discover that they use marijuana or some other drugs. Or some other drug. Uh, the main motive is an attempt to make uh, it easier for themselves. Considering this, it's easy to see the connection between drug use and other mental health problems. We have already said that marijuana is the most popular drug among our clients and it has been so for years. It is known that in addition to traditional drugs, new ones are also appearing more and more often. They imitate traditional drugs, but are significantly cheaper and much more toxic. New drug appearing on the European drug market also rapidly appear in Croatia. And so was the case with uh, uh, synthetic cannabinoids uh, legally sold under the name of Spice. <clears throat> Six or seven years, seven years ago, due to various reasons, uh, there was a significantly reduced supply of marijuana uh, on the illegal market. This gap was very and successfully filled by a substitute for marijuana synthetic cannabinoids. They appeared in Croatia 2006, but in 2014 and 15, they uh, uh, they were very very popular among uh, young people due to before mentioned uh, reasons declining uh, the supply of marijuana on the market. A network of smart shops in Croatia, especially in Zagreb, uh, was very soon created and supplied consumers with spice without any major difficulties. Due to the relatively low price and high availability, a number of young people began to, to consume them uh, regularly. 
in their desire to have a special experience, many have experienced the unpleasant, very unpleasant symptoms. The effects they reported uh, ranged from nausea and vomiting to severe physical and uh, mental health problems. Unfortunately, in 2015, a 15-year-old boy died and his death was directly linked to the consumption of synthetic cannabinoids. Then a strong media campaign was launched to warn of dangers of this type of drug, which finally brought certain results. Most consumers at the time said they uh, had tried synthetic cannabinoids at least once, but also talked about them as something very bad, disgusting, etc. Almost all of the clients who have had experience with synthetic cannabinoids have stated that those are a poor substitute for marijuana and that they will stop taking them as soon as the supply is improved. And it was like that. With the recovery of the marijuana market, interest in synthetic cannabinoids has declined. Despite this, a number of consumers continued to use synthetic cannabinoids. According to the reports of the Croatian Institute of Public Health, uh, there are a relatively small number of people who have been uh, treated for synthetic cannabinoid addiction. We, we are talking now about uh, numbers of 4 to 15 people a year. However, the fact is that synthetic cannabinoids are still consumed today and our experience shows the following. They are consumed more by younger adolescents aged between 13 and 15, uh, teenagers from poorer families and with a poor school performance. The treatment of such adolescents usually lasts longer because the damages caused by these drugs are greater. Uh, regular marijuana users often mock people who uh, consume synthetic drugs, uh, calling them fools, losers, and etc. The reason for this is this is in their strong belief that the marijuana is completely natural and not harmful, harmful, and synthetic cannabinoids are pure chemistry. However, most admit to have tried spice at least one, once in their lives. When explaining the reason why they com, uh, consume synthetic cannabinoids, clients mention three main reasons. The first, uh, synthetic cannabinoids are much cheaper than real grass. They are easy to get in smart shops and very important reasons, reason, uh, they are very difficult to deter be, uh, determine in tests. It is very important uh, for clients who are involved in treatment by uh, the court and must be tested regularly. At the moment, at this moment, we don't have a single person in our center who is in treatment primarily because of synthetic cannabinoids. As for other MPS, for now, we have no special knowledge about their prevalence among, among adolescents. What we know, and what is certainly worrying, is the growing number of teenagers who have tried or occasionally consume cocaine. But that is a topic we will talk about on other, another occasion. Thank you very much.